Hi there, you guys, and Happy New Year 2023! In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these teardrop and seed beads flower earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step, so I'm sure even if you're a beginner, you will be able to make them. If you want to see a similar design with more New Year's colors, you could check it here. And you could also see how to make this 2023 bracelet here at the eye icon and down there in description as well. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way, you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 on seed beads and down there in description, by the way, you could find a 10% discount code to buy these beads. Uh, you will also find the full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Now let's continue. These are clear teardrop crystals that are 13 by 8 millimeters. These are earring findings, liver bags. You could use other earring findings of your choice. This is monofilm and that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread as well. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I will take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I'm back and I'm going to start by taking this beautiful crystal. I will go through it with my needle and my thread. Okay I'll slide it down, leave a small tail here and now I'm going to take 10 of these beautiful turquoise beads. Okay and I have 10 of them. And now I'm going back through this crystal, just like this, and I'm pulling. I'm holding my tail thread all the time because otherwise everything will fall apart. Okay, now I'm turning it in this direction and I need to take 10 more of these beautiful turquoise beads. Okay, I have my 10 again. And as I'm still holding my tail thread, I'm going back again in circle here, okay? Now you see what I have. Now I want to go through all of those beads here. And I want to exit where my tail thread is. Now I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot with my main thread and my tail thread. And how I do this, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then I might make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And I will pull again. Okay, now I want this knot to be hidden inside my crystal. That is why I pull like this. And then I want to go one more time here through all of those beads. I want to exit here and I want to fill this hole here and how I'm filling it with two with two beads and I'm going here through all of those Okay, and here I also want to add two beads and then I go through the following two, just like this. Now guys, what I want to take here is one white, two 
pink beads and one white bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I go back through these two beads just like this in circle. You see my thread is exiting here. I'm adding white, two pinks and a white and I go back just like this. Okay, now I have a loop between these newly added four beads and these two beads in the inner circle or inner ellipse. Okay, then I go through the following two beads. And now I want to take a white, two turquoise beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I go through this white and through these two beads in this direction. And I pull. Okay. Then I go through the next two. And I'm going to repeat the pink part. Okay. Here I take a white and two pinks. And I don't take another white like I did in the beginning because I'm going through this white here that I have. And now instead of go through only two beads, I will go through four beads. Why I do this? Just I want to save time. Because in order to start my next loop of beads, I should be two beads away from here and I'm doing it in one movement in this case. Okay, now I'm going to alterate. I will take one white bead and I will take two turquoise beads and I'm going through this white, through these two and through the following two. Like this. Okay, then again it's time to add pink beads, so I take a white and two pinks and I go through the white and here through the following four. If it's easier for you, go through two and then through two more, it depends on you. Now I'm going to take a white and two of the turquoise like I did before. And I go back like this. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this up to here and I'll be back. Okay, and absolutely the same way, guys. I'm up to here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay. Now I have this and now I want to go here through this white bead and then I want to go through these two pink beads and I'm going to take a pink, a white and a pink and I'm going back like this. Okay, then I'm going to take just one white and I go through these two turquoise beads. And I'm going to take two turquoise and I go back like this. One white. Pink, white, pink. Go back. One white. Two turquoise. One white, 
pink, white, pink. One white. Two turquoise and I'm going to let you do this by yourself until the end of this work and then I will meet you here and I'm here at the final step guys where I'm adding those last three beads and here I will just add three white beads okay three of them three whites after that I will go through this pink and I'm going to add three pink beads go here like this Take one white bead Go through the two turquoise beads and also add three turquoise Like this Then again a white Go here through the pink and add three pink beads a white again turquoise and add three turquoise And I'm going to show you one more time this process and let you do this by yourself. Okay, a white, three pinks. A white. And three turquoise. Okay, and now continue this and meet me here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three pink beads from this row. And what I need to add next are two turquoise beads, and I want to go through this white bead here. Then I want to take two more turquoise, and I'm going in the same place here through this pink bead okay now I want to make one more row which will be the last one okay I go here like this I take just one white bead and I go through the first of those turquoise beads and I want to take three more turquoise beads and I skip the middle one and go through the following. Okay. Then another white and go here through this first pink bead. Then through the next two. So I'm going through the three here at the top. And I need one white. Go through the very first turquoise and add three more turquoise beads skip the central one and go through the following then again a white go through the first pink and then through the next two so through the three top pink beads one white first turquoise and three turquoise and skip the central and one 
and go here. Okay, and I'm going to continue this up until here and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last white bead. Now I go through all of those pink beads and I want to add one turquoise bead here at this edge to form an angle. Okay. Like this. Then I want to go back through those beads in this direction through the shortest way possible. And I want to go out of this bit that I just added that is sticking out. Okay. And here I want to take one of my earring findings and I will take three pink beads my earring finding and then three more pink beads. Okay, and after I reinforce this, what I want to do is go again like this and I will add an additional white beads here. You could leave it like this if you want, but I prefer to add those as well. Okay, I go through these top three beads of this flower and I want to take two go here through this middle of the three beads that I added then go here then again through the middle one and then take two of those white beads and go like this now everything is almost ready just find the place let's say here at the angle to make a knot okay guys and now my teardrop flower earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and be inspired often usually twice a week down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook page you could also check my second channel and see what you get if you decide to become a member thank to all of you that like share and comment love your support so much and bye bye from me